yarn in the frame. I think I got it. Okay. All righty. Sort of. Yep. So I do first want to talk today about just simplifying. Like when there's a lot of things going on in a composition, you can change anything that you want. So some of the changes that I made from the photo, I kind of simplified the shape of the barn and I put some of these other buildings out completely and also like the fences. I moved my tree a little bit closer in so that the branches would kind of come over the barn. And I I don't even know if I'm actually going to paint the tire swing in, but I drew there is it a in. tire swing? Yeah. You can barely see it in the photo. It's right there. Oh. Okay. And it's one of those kind of like gimmicky ones that you buy at like the pumpkin patch. But I just drew like a round tire. <laughs> so... Um. I think, you know, keeping it simple is always best. And anytime that I'm doing trees, I only worry about like the big main branches of it if I want it to actually look like the original tree. Um, but otherwise, I don't worry about any of the little ones at all. And I'm going to try to use my palette knife today a little bit more to do my mixing because that does make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to do my dark values first. So I'm going to mix my ultramarine blue with my umber. And then just gonna kinda, and I don't want the paint to be too thick because especially when I start painting the sky around it, I don't wanna drag those dark colors into the sky. Although if that does happen, it's, I think it's still totally fine. But you just want to, at first, just focus on 